Hi, I'm Stephen with AlbertaUrbanGarden.ca. So I'm out here on a project and I found some wild strawberries. So today I'm going to take some of these and see if I can't propagate them. So what you'll need is a little bit of water, some paper towel, a digging implement, and a plastic bag. So we're going to zoom in here. So we've got a couple of them identified here and they're nicely mulched. You can clearly see the, the crown of the plant down here. So what we're going to do is we're going to loosen up the soil around it. it shouldn't be too hard because it looks like it's nice in here, nice and soft. So we'll loosen up the soil. So once we got below the mulch, it ended up being a little bit tougher of a clay. So I'm just cutting around it, trying to make sure that the root ball is as intact as possible. And then just kind of gently teasing that out. So we end up with this. You can work away some of the uh, some of the material, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to plant this when I get home. So what you want to do is you want to wet the paper towel and the plant to keep it moist and during transport. Wrap it up. Stick it in the plastic bag. You can leave the top open. You just don't want this to get too hot. So we've gotten them home after a couple hundred kilometer drive south. These came from the boreal forest area of Alberta. Um, so what I've done is I've filled these pots with predominantly a potting mix that should hold a lot more water. And that uh, the water retention is important for the new rooting on these strawberries. Um, what then I'll do is I will water them with a uh, light organic fertilizer and then slowly introduce them. I'm gonna try hardening them off uh, to the sun. Although they did come from full sun, I think I'm going to ease them into this and see. We're going to put more than one um, per pot. Let's see if we can't get some of these to take. So, what we're going to do pull them out of these handy dandy. So, what we're going to do is pull these out of the handy dandy soil bag that I happen to have with me on my trip today. Um, the paper towel that we wrap them in. We can toss that straight into the compost after this. And you just want to bury them uh, up to the crown. You don't want to bury them past the crown. That'll help prevent some of the root rot issues or some of the stem rot issues. So remove this piece of grass. And we'll, we'll toss the other one in here. So the predominant method of propagation for strawberries is through runners. This method is a transplant. Some of them breed true to seed, although I haven't found one that does quite yet. So what we'll do is we will fertilize these with a light organic fertilizer, both pots, and then I'm gonna harden them off, just like in the spring when you harden off your uh, your seedlings, I'm gonna harden them off because they, they just have made a few hundred kilometer uh, trip and I don't want them to uh, get damaged too much from the transplant, so we'll be gentle to these. We're gonna toss them in some shade, keep them well watered but not dripping wet for the first few days, and then slowly transition them to full sun. And naturally, as with everything in the Alberta Urban Garden, we will uh, we'll keep you up to date. Thank you very much for joining me. If you like this video, feel free to subscribe. There should be a button right here.